It's Clayton, AKA Cell Dweller, and I'm here in collaboration with Vintage King to talk to you today about the T-Rex Replicator. So the T-Rex Replicator has existed as a stomp box for a while, but they recently ported this over to Eurorack. That now gives us voltage control over feedback and time parameters on this unit which adds a lot of functionality for you Eurorack users. It's also powered via the standard Eurorack rails, and so that simplifies this as far as incorporating this into your modular rig. The replicator utilizes real tape, so it has two tape heads, which gives us three possible delay types, which we'll go through in a little bit. Let's walk through some of the functions, and I can kind of show you this, but the best thing to do is to actually let you hear it, because I think that's going to speak volumes about how cool this thing is. So from top to bottom, you've got a chorusing effect here. You've got a kill dry, which allows you to kill the dry signal completely, so you can use this as a send effect if you'd like. You have an on-off switch, which allows you to engage the tape mechanism. You've got a filter switch here, which actually will cut some of the highs and kind of give you more of that lo-fi, kind of darker delay effect. Here are your three different delay types, indicated by different colors. You've got a volume knob here for the delay effect. The saturate knob will overdrive the signal and as it says will saturate the signal. You get a really warm distortion. It sounds great. Here's your delay level. You've got a feedback knob which is pretty self-explanatory but we're going to hear that in a little bit and your time knob which will actually affect the speed of the tape which of course affects the delay time. Voltage control inputs for feedback and time as well and obviously just the tape mechanism which you can pop out and put new cartridges in so you never have to worry about your cassettes getting eaten and never being able to find replacements because you can replace those. So let's jump into the fun part. This is where we get to actually hear this unit in action. And I've dialed up a very simple synth patch on the beautiful sounding Analog Solutions Leipzig S synth and this is what it sounds like all by itself. So I'm just going to flip the replicator on while that's playing back and you're going to hear the delay engage and then I'll start messing with some of the parameters and you can kind of hear all this stuff in action. Here we go. I love the sound of that. You can kind of almost hear that wow and flutter of old analog tape, and that's exactly what this thing is going for. Great, this is pretty cool, but the Stompbox version pretty much does all this already. So why don't we get into a little bit of voltage control to see how that affects things. I've pulled up a quick little thing I've drawn on this light strip over here, which is just sending a voltage that I've drawn in with my finger that's going to affect the feedback input. So you're going to hear the feedback being affected by this voltage. Engage the effect. How much fun is that? And then you also can control the time, which will actually speed up and slow down the tape. You can kind of get like spring reverb, like really tight delay times on this. There's all kinds of effects you can pull out of this. And of course, they all sound great. So one more thing, just so we can get a different flavor, I want to run a drum loop through this and just play with some parameters just so you can hear it. Just so you can kind of hear running external signals, whether it's in the synth world or even just stuff from your DAW or different loops, um, live performances, vocals, whatever you want, you could be running through this and processing. Let's just do a quick example with a drum loop. Thanks for sticking all the way through this episode of Cell Dweller Production. If you want a T-Rex replicator in your life, head over to Vintage King's site and they can get one to you right away. There's more stuff like this coming to my channel, so subscribe and like this video 
and make comments because I read them. Until next time, this is Clayton, AK Cell Dweller, signing off.